Welcome to this video about the comparison of addRef versus event callbacks. AddRefs are used when a child component defines a method that we want to invoke from a parent component. I am quickly going to create a child component for that. I style it too. So uh, this component will uh, work as an alert component, which will only be displayed uh, when uh, something uh, is triggered. I have to uh, name the container our container because uh, I'm using Bootstrap, and uh, if I would name it as a normal container, I think would interfere with the bootstrap style, but here I'm just using bootstrap uh, and I'm writing out alert has been triggered. So now the alert is getting displayed. We don't want that. We want that the alert, if we load the component, uh, isn't visible. So here display and using the value in the string uh, of the name display. So now I'm going to the index component. OK, the, no the name is component of the uh, newly created component. Now the add the ref directive uh, comes into play. I create a field of type component, name it component. Here, using the ref directive, uh, not, a hash, not a hashtag, the, the add sign, I'm assigning it the component. So every time when Blazor uh, creates this component, it will uh, assign the, the, the object to this field and the object representing the component. And therefore, I can say whenever a user clicks uh, the hello world sign, we are going to, oh, I don't see the method. Oh, of, yeah. I completely forgot to define a method in the component. I name it alert. And in here, I'm just going to assign block to the display a field so that uh, the component is getting displayed. So now this method, because it's public, should be visible. Yes, it is. I'm going to invoke that. And here I've also defined status change, otherwise the state uh, won't be won't be updated. So state has changed. Yeah. So it works. Uh, the alert is, is getting displayed. So now, uh, yeah, so you see the alert has been displayed in its full size. Now, what is an event callback doing? Uh, an event callback is the, the opposite of the, the ref directive. Uh, in the ref directive, we define a method in the child component, and this method is getting invoked by the parent component. Uh, with event callbacks, it's the other way around. Uh, the event callback gets defined in the parent component and is getting invoked in the uh, child component. Uh, therefore, I'm using the, the counter component. As an example, I define a parameter of type event callback int. What does that mean, event callback int? That means that it uh, expects an int as a, an argument. Now here, whenever the current count is greater than 10 and 
the alert has a delegate, so meaning it has been uh, assigned uh, a method to it, then we are going to invoke it. We invoke async, and I've told you it uh, expects an int, and the int is provided by giving a current count. Invoke async returns a task, and we are not awaiting this task, but that's uh, not tragic. So now here in the index component, I have to define this event callback. There are different ways in which I could define it. Here I am using the lambda, so a lambda to write a, an anonymous uh, method. Now here it expects an int. I'm calling it i. Now with this int, this int I am going to pass into the alert method of the component. And first I have to delete this one because I will going to change the method signature. From now on, it will expect an integer. We will also define uh, a new field, call it via alert, which is saying the telling the user why we have triggered the alert. Now via alert, I'm going to use the the uh, string interpolation. Here, I'm just going to write i is bigger and 10. Okay, so going back to the index, now everything works and I'm going to start the application. So now, uh, yeah, everything's works as expected. So a quick recap. We will start with the, the component here. Here we define a method. This method is getting uh, invoked from the parent component. The parent component is the index component and we invoke that method by uh, assigning a field to the add ref directive. And whenever Blazor creates this component, it will uh, assign the object that represents this component to this field. So over this field, this field is a reference to the component, a reference to the object, like any other reference type. Over this field, we can uh, invoke the method, uh, yes, of the child component. Now, uh, here, that's the event callback. An event callback gives us the uh, opportunity to define a method on the parent component. We can define the method however we want. We can do it uh, the anonymous way with lambdas here, but we could also uh, uh, use the normal like delegate syntax by writing here a method that matches the expected signature. The expected signature in this case is it takes uh, input parameter of type int and it uh, doesn't return anything. And in the counter, it is defined as such. So parameter, so that it can be assigned to from the outside, event callback int, and yes, as I've told you, it expects an int as an input argument, and we are providing it that here. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.